comfortable, isn't it? <laughs> Karen, have you ever tried sitting in one of these? It's like being back at school. <laughs> it's very bright, isn't it? <laughs> I've never noticed that one before. Karen, have you noticed that? What? How bright the lights are. I mean, seriously, it could cause visual disturbances in some patients. Ah, oh, Mrs Harper, isn't it? Um, you are seeing Dr Reed, so she'll be along to see you shortly. Don't take a seat. Karen, Karen, don't do this the wrong way, but I noticed that you haven't switched on the reception screen. That some patients could be missing out on five. Valerie, it is none of your flipping business. Hey, Valerie, do you want to come through? Oh, it's been awful, Jimmy. I'm sorry. But I am very grateful that you could see me. It really helped, you know, when during my cancer. Not with you, of course. But... Glad to hear it. And also, I wanted to be prepared for this session, so I've done some pre-thinking. OK, uh, good. I've been pre-thinking about the fact that I can't stop thinking. About Geoffrey? Yeah. OK, well, um, today I would like to try some techniques to help move you forward from that. But you see, that is the problem. I can't move forward. I have tried. <sighs> but I come home and I unlock the door and he's not there. And he always used to be waiting. And he'd rub himself up against my legs, purring like a little engine. And now there's nothing. Just a big, silent hallway. And it's the same at night when I go to bed and he always used to jump in and have a cuddle and now the bed just seems horribly big and cold and empty. Valerie. And I know, I know, I should have said goodbye at the memorial. And everyone's been very nice, although they all think I should just get another cat. Valerie, he's just tying himself up in knots. I can't let him go. OK. What I would like to try today is a technique called directed imagery. OK. OK. So, I want you to visualise Geoffrey. Imagine he's right there on this cushion. You have one chance for a last conversation. What would you like to say to him? Just imagine I'm not here, it's just you and Geoffrey. Hello, my gorgeous, handsome, funny boy. I love your fur. I love your purring. I love your cuddles. <laughs> we have a special bond, don't we? I always turn a blind eye when you miss the litter tray. And you pretend not to notice when I walk around the house wearing a face mask. <laughs> you accept me for what I am. I don't have a mum or a dad or a partner or kids. So it was you who saw me, who saw me through those awful days of the cancer. And I will always be grateful for that. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you passed away. Would you like a break, Valerie? Just um, get some fresh air, come back when you're ready. Yeah. Hello again. Hello, you're finished. Yep. You're right. Yes, I am, thank you. 